on the peninsula. But what company is hoping to fix that problem using solar-powered bicycles, like you see right here? ABC 7 News reporter Janine De La Vega and one of the company's charging stations in Palo Alto. And Janine, why do they think that these new bikes will be the answer? Well, traditional bikes, you're pedaling a lot more, so you're sweating a lot more. And these are solar-powered electric bikes here at this station, so you're not using as much energy, so that may make you think twice and maybe you'll leave your car at home. Tim Curley is trying out this solar-powered electric bike for the first time. He works inside the Sanford Research Park, an area where there's a cluster of tech companies. Commuting can be frustrating for the 28,000 people who work in the five-square-mile area. Definitely like that. That's cool. Curley's employer, Park, just had this e-bike share station installed. It's the first of its kind with built-in smart technology connected to the cloud. Riders just need to download the app to reserve a bike. Show up, you hit a button, boom, the bike's available. Um, and then you can take it home, you can take it wherever you like. You know, they have a 40-mile range. SwiftMile is the company behind the solar-powered bike stations. It incorporated Fitbit-like technology that tells riders information, such as their distance and how many calories burned. But it also gives employers some valuable statistics. Now we can share with them. Here's how many signal occupancy trips you've avoided. Here's how much you've eased your parking. Uh, hint, hint, Tesla. Swift Max has the short term and the long term. Plans to install the bike stations. It's also oh, attracting the attention of other tech companies. While many have shuttles, the schedules don't always work for employees. Workers who have tried the e-bike say it beats waiting in traffic. I can make it home almost faster on the bike than I can on the highway. Renting the bikes is free to the employees here. Swift Mile hopes others will follow Park's lead to help ease the Bay Area congestion. In Palo Alto, Janine De La Vega, ABC 7 News. Oh! Well, bike